Hello guys, today we're gonna fix the cigarette lighter of the Patriot. So here the ignition is on and I got no power to my transmitter. So for that, we need to check the fuse box. We pop the hood. And our fuse box is there. To open it, we just need to press these two tabs, pull it up and it should came off. In reference to the owner's manual on the electrical diagram which I linked in the description, the fuse number 13 is for the power socket. Here I grabbed my test light, connect it to the good ground and start testing the fuse. And as you can see, the fuse is good. At this stage, we need to get access to the cigarette lighter connector and see if we got power. To do so, I just use a flathead screwdriver, put it between the bezel and the plastic trim and just pull. Then just continue pulling with your hand. It should came off no problem. Here you need to remove the vents cable and I already removed the red one. All you have to do is push in the tabs that hold them. Then with the same screwdriver twist the cable. For this connector, just press this clip and pull back. However, here you need to press down the red clip, then pull back the connector like the other one. And the puzzle is free. As for the cigarette lighter connector, the clip is in the bottom. Press it down and pull back. Now we're gonna test if we got power to the connector. So I back probe it with the pink and black wire being the feed wire and the green and black wire being the ground wire. Turn on the ignition. And nope, we don't have 12 volt. So I turned off the ignition to perform a ground test. I back probe the green and black wire to perform a continuity test with a good ground point behind the dash. And yes, we have a good ground. Moving back to the fuse box, I pull it up by just pressing the four tabs that holds it in place. Then I find out this connector that have a pink and black wire on it. So to be sure that this is the right connector with the right wire, I back probe it with the ignition on but without the fuse. And I use my test light to see if I got power to it when I put the fuse back. And as you can see, power on with the fuse in and power off with the fuse out. So this is the right connector and the right wire. So my next move was to trace the wire and pinch it every few inches, then perform a continuity test to be able to limit where the damage section may be. A few inches down the harness, I traced the wire. Then I pinch it with what I have available for me, which was a pinch pin in this case. And this is the setup I made to perform the test. This is the multimeter. Hook it to the pink and black wire. 
and here I closed the circuit and get continuity. That means that the wire is good from this point all the way to the cigarette lighter connector. So we have a break between the fuse connector and the pinch I made, which I have to find, but it getting dark, so I'll continue tomorrow morning. Look at this. This is where the wire is broken. I don't know how it happened, but the wire is pinched and corroded. And this is how far it was from the point I pinched to do the test. So I'm going to cut it and put it back together. Here, I cut the wire and clean it. Then, I crimped the two ends together with the heat shrink butt connectors. Put the connector back, then turn on the ignition with the multimeter hook to the cigarette lighter connector. And yes, we have juice when power on and nothing when power off. And just to be extra sure, I went and pulled out the fuse, then put it back to see the change of state. Here, I plug the connector back, turn the ignition on. As you can see, the transmitter works fine now. Here, I seep the crimped zone as well as the pinch I made, and I finish with applying a heat resistance electrical tape to protect the wire harness. I hope the video was helpful. See you in the next one. And don't forget to close your fuse box.